Ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer just around four months ago over at Star Wars Celebration, it left a lot of fans very excited and eager for the next set of footage of Episode 9 to get a better sense of the overall tone of this movie by director J.J. Abrams, Chris Terrio, and even creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to contain many different revelations that will lead to saga-wide implications, and with the upcoming trailer 2 all set and ready to release over at D23 on August 23rd, mind you, a lot of fans are very pumped to see the new footage of this film. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie, and when it all comes down to various shot descriptions of the upcoming trailer 2 of this film, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that both Ray and Kylo Ren are sprinting toward each other with their lightsabers ignited in the middle of a rainstorm where it's explained that as their sabers clash a large crashing wave is seen behind them where it's said that the shot is said to slightly transition to footage of Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi confronting each other in front of the lava on Mustafar in the background to parallel the shot between Kylo and Rey. It's said that Disney and Lucasfilm are going to use pieces of footage from the prequels as visual narrative of the parallels that will be presented in the film that will be used in a magical way. As this scene happens in the upcoming footage, it's explained that a revised track of Battle of the Heroes plays over the shot. The next describes a sequence of Luke Skywalker watching over a sinking X-Wing into the ocean of Ahch-2, where it's said to be a rear shot of Skywalker where a thunderstorm is seen in the distance with tons of clouds with tons of cloud to ground lightning seen striking in the distance. It's explained and implied that Luke's X-Wing crashed from a powerful storm that was out of control. Lastly, a description of both Rey and Kylo Ren holding hands, where they are said to be walking through a dark tunnel of some kind, where many voices of the past are heard, such as Yoda, Anakin, Kenobi, Luke, Leia, Snoke, and even Palpatine. It's said that Disney is ready to tease the use of flow walking in the upcoming footage as well. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and why this is very exciting content for the upcoming footage that will be presented at D23. Now I want to go over the first shot that really, I guess you could say, impresses me the most and that all has to do with the parallels of how when Rey and Kylo Ren are igniting their sabers, sprinting toward each other, where they eventually clash their sabers, where as a wave, all right, a ton of water crashes against this wreckage that they are standing on, that transitions or slightly transitions to the footage between the iconic shot of Anakin and Obi-Wan as they are holding each other where you do see a spew of lava in the background. So essentially the crashing wave of water is going to be used as a parallel to the lava that was actually spewing in the background between both Anakin and Obi-Wan from episode 3. And honestly I think that's very clever. I think that's a very interesting you know, uh, choice for a shot in the upcoming footage of episode 9 in order to really give fans an idea of what's to come in this movie when it comes to the parallels that will be demonstrated in The Rise of Skywalker. Now could this very well be a hint that maybe indeed Rey is an actual Kenobi and that's why they're lining those shots up? That's a big possibility. Now on top of all of this, the other piece that I really want to go over is the moment in which we have a rear shot of Luke Skywalker examining or analyzing the sinking X-Wing into the ocean of Ahch-2 after he crash landed. Now it's said that as Luke Skywalker is watching this happen, there is a lot of cloud to ground lightning in the background where you do see a lightning storm in the distance on Ahch-2. Now this implies obviously that this is a flashback scene, we actually heard about this about a month or two ago in the works and what's really exciting about this is that this gives us a better idea of exactly how Luke ended up on the world of Ahch-2 and what it was really like for Luke Skywalker to deal with the crash landing situation with his X-Wing and himself on that world of Ahch-2 next to the island. Now, on top of everything else, we do know that Episode 9 is going to feature a lot of surprises. And the other piece that I find to be very intriguing is where they are both holding hands where you have a sequence where Rey and Kylo Ren are hearing the voices of Anna Anakin, Obi-Wan, Kenobi, uh, Luke Skywalker, Snoke, and even Palpatine, and more. So this is said to be Disney's tease of the Force, 
or should I say the flow walking technique by use of the force that they will be using in episode 9. So they really are doing a lot of teases in this movie in order to really give fans an idea of the different types of force powers that will be used in the Rise of Skywalker and how that's really going to evolve the characters from start to finish. Personally, I think it's a great choice. I think that this is a step in the right direction to really add in a lot of elements into the mix that fans have never seen before on the big screen in Star Wars film history, as well as through the help of George Lucas. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.